Now that we've completed the use case diagram for Manage Inventory by adding the detailed requirements that will be represented into our sequence diagrams, we flip over to our sequence diagrams and typically in a non-stereotype solution we would connect the timelines of standard classes together to re represent a flow of logic. But in this case here, we'll actually take advantage of the fact that we're going to use a spring architected solution and model that with our spring stereotypes. So you'll notice that I've created a package of Rent-A-Car and I've created the application levels that we would expect in a spring-based application, which is a DAO, domain, service, and web. And what we'll do in this phase is we'll go ahead and create the key stereotyped classes. We won't add any information to them, but we'll just make them available so that when we create our sequence diagrams, we can take advantage of the stereotype classes as opposed to non-stereotype classes. So with the domain, we'll pull down a domain object class and we'll give it the name car. And we won't add any information to it at this point. We'll just make it available for our sequence diagrams. And we'll do the same thing at all four layers. So we'll move into our DAO. Uh, we'll drop down our data access stereotype class. So we've got our car DAO. We'll do the same thing at service. We'll drop down our stereotype service class, give it a name car service. And finally, we'll move into our web layer and we'll go back to our tools palette, our spring drop down that's provided by the Skyway plugin for our spring stereotype classes. And we'll drop down the controller and we'll give it a name car controller. and we'll spell it correctly. Okay, so at this point we have our key stereotyped classes and we're ready to implement one of our sequence diagrams. So we'll start with list cars and we'll go through the normal design approach which is to drop down the lifelines. Uh, we'll select an existing type. So we'll start out with uh, dealing with our agent. So this is our agent actor and the agent actor is then going to interact with our stereotype class of car controller. And then next it will interact with our stereotype class of car service. And then finally we will interact with our stereotype class car DAO. So we'll close this and in our sequence diagram now we're interested in designing the functional calls between these classes. So the agent is going to invoke a call, a synchronous call on the car controller and we're going to call it list cars. So we want it to list cars and then the controller we want the controller to invoke a method on the service called load cars. And then finally, we want the service to invoke a method on the data access object of find all cars. And with that, we have our sequence flow defined, uh, taking advantage of the stereotyped pattern of controller, service, and DAO. And with the next step, we'll drop down into our class model and flesh out additional stereotyped information that will be used to transform our spring-based application.